Hi, my name is Victor and you're with Revit Experiments. Today I'm going to show you Revit 2020's new realistic mode and some say it will make uh, software like Enscape and Lumion uh, obsolete. Is it really that good though? So this is uh, our basic uh, sample project that we all get with uh, Revit and by the way uh, if you don't know where it is it should be installed in this directory for your computer so program files autodesk your version of revit and then samples there you get all the samples so this is the project in 2021 and i also have it open in 2020 and to show you something else uh, since i'm working on one big screen now if I want to quickly show both things, uh, two separate uh, windows on the same screen, in Windows 10 we can just uh, get one of those, drag it to around here, and then we can select uh, the other program from that list here, like this. So now I have both. Uh, to Revit 2020.2 20, and Revit 2021 open and I can go to a 3D view here and you're probably familiar with the realistic and ray trace graphic display modes that we have had up until now uh, but here in 2021 there we don't have a um, ray trace mode anymore we only have a realistic one and it's actually a different engine, it's a completely new engine and it also looks pretty differently you can see uh, the differences here actually to free some screen real estate I'm going to close my uh, project browser uh, I also don't need the properties okay like this so here we can see we have some RPC which is read photographic uh, content trees and a car and I suspect that with them there are going to be really different but they are still pretty similar the car doesn't really get uh, the lightning so well in the new engine but you can feel even from the way I'm scrolling here and here it is much smoother in 2021 let's try to orbit around here okay not so good and in 2021 not a problem at all and you know that since Revit 2019 we can actually uh, change here from orthographic to perspective view and in the perspectives we have this uh, paper plane now which allows us to fly using the WASD keys like in a game and the Q and E keys to go down for the Q and up for the E and you know it doesn't really work so well with the realistic mode in Revit 2020 let's try the same thing here in Revit 2021 okay let's go to perspective and let's click on that fly mode the paper plane okay that's now a lot smoother let's go up pressing the E key down pressing the Q let's go inside so how does that look it's not bad it's actually really uh, fast and decent I would say um, graphical engine but is it really as good as um, 
Escape? I don't think so, personally. And if we compare this to Woomian, Woomian is another thing completely. So, no, I don't think we can say that. Okay, and comparing it directly to the old um, realistic, the new one is definitely brighter, but I don't think it's so much different. It's uh, faster for sure, but uh, it's not so much uh, different. We have uh, this ambient occlusion thing happening in here, which we don't have here. Uh, let's compare it though to the ray trace mode. I was never really a big fan of um, the ray tracing Revit. I don't really find it helpful in any way because it takes uh, so much time. Yeah, we can see the light, but it's almost like uh, doing a really fast uh, render. So yeah, I don't think it's of much value. Uh, I really like the new realistic mode in Revit 2021 because to quickly see what's happening in a room uh, it's fairly decent and you don't need a third party plugin or anything else you don't need to export the file you don't need to install anything you just have it in Revit now so yeah I think it's it's decent we can also try to pimp up that view a little bit because you know here we can uh, uh, show ambient shadows, uh, turn on cast shadows, fry up that uh, <laughs> graphic uh, card. Okay, looking good. Let's let's try that here. Shadows, cast shadows, show ambient shadows. Good. Well, now it starts being an even bigger difference uh, here. Let's go to lighting and turn up some ambient light. Hmm, not bad. Really like. Look at this, thinking if this is Revit. It suddenly looks a lot more realistic and of course if I turn off those edges to achieve some more realism it should actually be pretty nice really like those um, reflections in the TV so yeah materials are reflective there is some relief, some bump Let's go outside. Let's use the flight mode again. Yeah, not bad at all. What do you think? Do you think we would still need uh, software like Escape to quickly show, um, to quickly walk around the model? Or do you think that's enough? Please tell me in the comments. And if you liked uh, this video, consider subscribing if you haven't already uh, push that like button uh, tell me I'm awesome or tell me that I I'm not uh, anyway um, but most of all tell me if you think that this new uh, Revit uh, realistic mode in the view is going to be enough or are we still going to use third-party software to show quick renderings? Of course, this cannot uh, replace uh, real renderings, but for real-time walks inside the model, I don't think it's that bad. Maybe if we get an upgrade from the flight mode to an actual walk mode, that would be really great. And yeah, let's see. Well, thank you for watching this and see you soon. Bye bye.